Hello everybody. How are we doing this afternoon? This morning, delete is applicable depending where in the world you are. Look, um, I thought it would be a bit of fun on a rather cold, wet, sort of dull Wednesday afternoon to go through one or two of your um, submissions to the, uh, the flute challenge, which I thought would be a bit of a laugh. And uh, so we will um, be picking them largely at random, frankly. I'm just going to go poof and pull it off um, the, um, uh, the thingy bob, the, the comments. Um, so let me just make sure everything's running. You can hear me loud and clear. That's all good. All right. Right. So we're going to be here for an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. Let's see how it goes. Hello, Berlin. Hello, Macedonia. Hello, Germany. Hello, Toronto. Um, lots of people out there um, from all over the world. And I've seen lots of chat going on. Lots of chat up to now. So I'm fully equipped, ready to listen to your amazing pieces of music. And I'm sure nobody will have done anything remotely dodgy this afternoon. <laughs> so look, um, just to remind those of you who may have missed part one of this little epic, um, that what we're doing, what I did was, I did a little video where I did, um, um, I just started with this phrase on a, where is oh, my flute? I should have got the flute out, shouldn't I? Anyway, the flute and the kalimba, and just put it in and try to build something quite interesting. And I thought, okay, why don't you have a go at it? So I gave you the, hello Finland, uh, and, it was uh, really fun and I've listened to some of your stuff and it's really great. There's some such different takes on this. Things I never would have thought of myself. Hello Sweden. Hello Javier. Oh Spain. Javier. That's better. Okay. Hello Ottawa. Ottawa. Uh, hello France. Oh lots of people from all over. So look we've got obviously there's been a lot more submissions than we're going to have time to get through this afternoon. But you know that, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I warmly encourage you to go to the original video and leave comments on each other's work because that's great. Um, I will go through as many as I can. But, um, you know, realistically, I'm not going to get more th than probably about 20 or 30 done this afternoon. So let's just see how we go. Um, OK, I'm going to start with Jacob Ronalds. OK, he was one of the first ones to submit. So let's have a little listen and see what we think of Jacob's work. Here we go. Up it comes. What? Here we go. Are you ready? Ooh. Moody. Bit of a beat. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, something else needs to happen now. I like this vibe. Okay. Look, it's a it's a it's a good start. It's a good start. It needed to go somewhere, didn't it? Um feel free to post polite comments in the in the in the chat um what you think of these things. I like the basic idea, um, but this is very much kind of yeah, obviously it's a minute and something. So it's your first idea and now you're going to go on and you're going to build it. And now you're going to, I really, <laughs> obviously it made me laugh when I heard uh, you drop me saying car crash, obviously car crash or whatever in there. Probably just by itself, if you were going to build that into a track, you probably would have needed to use that a little bit more. Oh, not at all. One or the other. Um, but what you've got there is you've got enough elements to start building a track out, but you will need more than just that. Um, a lot of the reason people People really struggle. A little bit louder, please. Okay, a little bit louder in general. Is that better? Let me know in the comments. There we go. It looks all right on my meters here. Um, okay, um, it's one of the reasons people have problems uh, finishing tracks is A, it's the less interesting bit. <laughs> Because actually coming up with the original idea, that first sort of 16 bars is really exciting. Having all these cool ideas and everything else. And then, then the hard work kicks in and it's a bit, oh my God. And people, but also you definitely need more ideas than you think you do. Um, and uh, a lot of people will start um, going for it before they've actually got all their ideas in place. But look, great start. Really good. Um, um, let's listen to Mark Bernard's piece. Let's see what Mark's got going for us here. If you're in the house, shout out, say hello. Let's see what Mark's 
um, got to show. Uh, this is called I Kalimba. That may give you an idea as to where it's going. is strong with this one. Okay, not my voice. There we go. Okay, um... It started two or three times and headed in slightly different directions each time. <laughs> Okay, right. I mean, look, this is a perfectly nice piece. It's it's very simple, obviously. There's just it's largely just a a bed going on underneath the original sample. But what struck me as strange was, of course, it starts with this big synth thing, and then the synth thing goes away, and you'd never hear it again. Which is, I kind of would have thought, and it goes away quite abruptly. There, it's suddenly gone. So I think I would have, I, I would have layered that in a bit, or. There's a sort of chord progression going on in the background, but look, you've got, um, I can't remember who that was, but, um, oh, it's Mark. Okay. Um, there's some perfectly good ideas in there, um, but you need to work out how to, um, I think there's probably too many of them going on too quickly and you need to work out how to, um, introduce things in a logical order so they all complement each other and it doesn't sound, because what it sounded a bit like was you're sort of changing direction quite fast. So you start doing one thing, mm, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I'm going to go down here. Mm. And, and it sort of didn't quite give you, because the whole business of structuring any kind of piece of music is that sense of anticipation. So you need to have a feeling of where the thing's going. It needs to be, a, you know, the, the whole thing is a balance between predictability and uh, novelty, surprise. And... So it needs to be predictable enough that people think they know where it's going, but then unpredictable so that it sounds fresh and interesting and different. And that's probably what you um, need to work on, so to speak. Yes, Tom. Tom, I tell you what, <laughs> this flute, <laughs> there is a limit to how long we can do this live because that flute sample is going to be here all afternoon. <laughs> You'd be going, no, no. If it wasn't an earworm before, it certainly is now. Oh, my lordy, lordy. Okay, right. Um, lockdown challenge. Let's see whose this one is. Let's get back here. Okay, here we go. Quiet start. It's definitely running. Oh, it's John Cage's submission. It is there. Hang on, let me refresh. Refresh. Okay. Go for it. Oh, we've listened to this one. Oh, silly old me. Sorry. I was just getting into it again. What am I doing? What am I like? Okay, let's try this one. Hang on. Give over, guy. Right, okay. Here's one, here's one. We definitely haven't had this one before. This one is called Catching Fire. Okay, look, I'll show you. There it is. Ooh. Hmm. Sounds a bit mono to me. I'm not quite sure about that thing going on underneath. But looking at the shape of this, I can see how it's going to develop. <laughs> <laughs> 
So something's going to happen here, then it's going to go quiet, and then it's going to build up. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is nice. Ooh, a live cello. Look, this is a nice piece, little piece of music. I mean, it, there's some good ideas in there and there's some slightly less good ideas in there. And it's, again, structurally, I'm not sure that things are coming in the right order. Oh, in come the drums. Oh, Dropbox is players mono, is it? Okay. Well, that was a surprise. I didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> I like it. It took a while to find its direction, didn't it? But like a homing pigeon, it goes round and round a few times and goes, this is the track I am. Okay. I like that. I like that. Whoever's that was. Okay. Very, very good. Right. Good start. Good start. Like, moving on, moving on. Right. <laughs> what do we got? Let's go for... Torstens, how about Torstens? On oh, nice reliable SoundCloud, so oh, locked flutes. Oh, I like this. Ooh. A lot of side chaining going on. Hey Torsten, you're in the house. Nice to see you. Woo! It's another one which is okay. I'm liking this too. Yeah, yeah, okay. Look, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this. Okay. Yeah. I... I mean, it, it... I think you're probably bringing too much in too quickly. I'm not sure where the, but it's good. You're probably a bit like me. You're co oh, I'm just gonna add a little bit more in, a little bit of this. I would have waited longer to put in, bring in the beat, I think probably, but let it go the full 16 bars before you kind of kick it. maybe a touch too much of the old sound design going on in there anyway look that's Torsten you've done a good job there mate I like that you've done a good job um oh Devansh Chanda are you with us today Devansh I'm probably slaughtering your name uh yeah it's two minutes of track time so in other words you it's um Torsten saying you know it's only two minutes indeed I mean it's uh Getting that, getting that first minute, two minutes down, which is largely what I do in the videos, isn't it? And then just go, woof, moving on. So I never sit down and do the hard bit. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. If only. Um, well, I do, I do, because I have to do it for clients. And uh, we've been doing quite a lot of stuff for clients in the last few weeks. Oh, I need access. Devanch, I need access. You stuck it on Google Drive and it won't let me sign into it. Oh no. Just when you got picked as well. Oh dear. Ethereal dreams. Okay. Right. Ray Johnson. Uh, here is Ray Johnson's work. It's going to come up on YouTube. Here we go. Let's see what it's like.
He's using Ableton Live and natural sounds to give the cave ambience. Oh, look, it's a bit of a video going on. Oh. It's like a game. I look into the mouth of the cave. What could possibly be in there? Is this where the secret treasure is to be found? No. I haven't heard anything yet, which sounds like my bit. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, the central melody. Uh, it's taking a while to get going. Come on, you can do it. And that guy has not moved yet. I don't think this is a video. It is somebody out there. I'm sure. Oh, there I am. Oh, yeah. Okay. The giant flute monster is upon us. It's all very ambient. I'm not sure it's going anywhere. More volume for the music. I mean... I am at the mercy of how it's been mastered. Oh. Oh. Okay. Do you know, I can see myself um, doing yoga to this. Or maybe a bit of mindfulness in the morning. Don't you think? Yeah, I could relax to this maybe. Anyway, look. If a peek into the cave is what you were hoping to give us, that's what we got. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's perfectly nice. I, as you see, it could go on a very long time like that, couldn't it? I quite like the natural sounds. I quite, I think that's quite interesting, actually. Oh, hang on. I've come away from my original window. So now I've lost my initial. Uh, oh, here we go. Right. Back to my list. Back to my list. Uh, right. Rescroll down. Sorry, everybody, I'm just going to have to scroll to the bit where I was at uh, the clues in the title. Yeah, this is making me sleepy. I know, I know, I know. Maybe it was supposed to. OK, OK, OK. Um, how about Alex Rooney? Alex Rooney, your moment has come. At, uh, oh, it's another Dropbox one, so it's going to possibly come out in mono. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. No, it's stereo. where that tune was going. Look, it's working. It's working. I think the kick could do with a bit more help. Oh! I wasn't expecting that either. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. Okay. Well, I like that. Uh, I think, uh, I think some, I'm not, I'm not, some of the sound choices I'm not that wild about. I definitely would have beefed up that kick and had uh, layered a, a, a bit of a sub underneath and then cross faded so that you can sort of squash the two together, make it a little bit more oomphy and um hello michael <laughs> okay michael bauer is one of our uh, postgrads he's decided to drop in nice to see you michael but uh, um so uh, yeah i mean also it is a game of two halves which you can actually see if you look at the thing um so there's this and then suddenly the guitar comes in here and i think probably if you're going to build a piece it just needs to feel a little bit more coherent. The front end and the, and the back end need to feel a bit more coherent. Um, you know, it's uh, 
and there that graphic tells you quite a lot i think anyway look um it's a it's a really good you know yet another interesting and completely different effort what's an, what i'm surprised by is how i was expecting a lot of them to come out sounding much the same and they don't okay this is a house version of my um flute tune apparently and whose is it come on let me just see oh it's a Chinese character and I have absolutely no idea how to read it uh, so no I have no idea sorry mate um, right so we'll listen to it anyway here we go that's ha yep that'll do it Okay, I, I've been liking this so far. I'm waiting to see. Is it going to be the... Are we waiting for on the... Um, ah, there I am. I like that kick too. Well, the, the, the flute is in there. It is in there. Okay. I'll tell you my problem here, actually. This is all working, um, except for the fact that the bass line goes with the chord progression. The chord progression goes with the flute. But the three together don't. There's something harmonically um, a little bit... Um, not quite hanging together but the actual production is really good um, it's just that the sense of tonality is a bit off which is not surprising really because you know the flute also <laughs> there's one or two uh, one or two which have been sent in where you can hear just how out of tune the flute is at, uh, <laughs> so, oh my lord well it's a real organic instrument isn't it it's kind of what you do what you do Anyway, um, wh however, whatever your name was, because I can't read Chinese, um, that's a really good effort, and it was a really interesting take, and I was quite sort of relieved not to be overwhelmed by the flute, because we, by the end of this hour and a bit, we're going to have quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so um, let's have Paul Stutz um, take on my take, so to speak. Here we go. Dark to Light, that's what it's called. <laughs> Out of flute, out of tune flute is character. It is. Um, okay, look. There's some. There's lots of good things in here. It's just that there's too many of them. There's too much going on at once. And it's changing direction every five minutes. It's a medley. I'm all medleyed up. What? Oh my god. Okay. I think Joachim Fox is probably right. Harmonically a bit strange. Look, this is Paul having a laugh. Pa Paul is having fun. He's enjoying himself. Um, look, it's gone into a kind of, you know, 
Now that's interesting. Listen, the chord progression under that is quite different and suddenly it turns it into a different tune. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, dark to light. Oh, silly old me. I've only just got it now. The whole point is it's going from dark to light. So why didn't I see that? So actually, yes, it's transitioned from kind of slightly sort of suspenseful to something slightly caribbean -y. And, you know, pff, blimey, you know, I think that looked, that sounded like it was an awful lot of fun to do. There's just too much going on. And sometimes it's a matter of pulling stuff out and deciding what's absolutely going to contribute and deciding what your central idea is and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, look, you've done a, you've done a, a good job there. Hang on, let me just get my... Right, um, let me... There we go. Let's have a little resort here. Right, reload, reload. Let me see what we have got. Um, uh, Thomas Gray. Uh, okay. Thomas had fun doing this. Ooh. I like this. Oh, there I am. <laughs> it's always a, a nice surprise to hear where I'm going to pop up. <laughs> oh, layering the two together, that works. This works really well. I really like this. It's quite a modern sort of um, orchestral sound too. Yeah. Okay, we agree we like this. Who knew when I was sitting here faffing about with my flute I was actually approaching Tyrannus or whatever. Yep. I am approaching Tyrannus. Oh. That was good. I like that. I thought that was a good piece of work. Well done. Um, I liked the simplicity of it. I liked the way it built. Um, I liked, i tell you what I particularly liked is when you use, um, uh, it, it's really interesting how the chord progressions underneath the piece of melody completely changed the character of the melody. So we had, you know, a sort of kind of, vaguely tropical kind of laid back dark to light thing going on a moment ago with completely different chord progressions underneath and it worked and then this one which also worked and was also completely different i mean how cool is that i think it's really good okay right what we got i'm going to choose another one i am choosing largely at random um okay i tell you what no, to be fair I should, i'm going to start slightly further down so people who made it by the uh you know come on refresh 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 um so uh yeah everybody liked that one karate kid well that's uh, yeah 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 no it's true okay maybe um where are they gone right here we go uh so let me think challenge accepted is my lord okay Magnet, what's your name? Magnet RP. 
and right let's see how this one goes Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what do I think of this? There's some nice sounds in there. I'm not sure they're destined to be in the same place. This is a little bit like sardines and custard. It's <laughs> There's some nice sound designery stuff going on and all that, but below what? It's called below, so I'm intrigued to know how it Oh yeah, okay, there's the Kalimba. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, there's some nice interesting sounds in there, um, but it is a slight, it, you know, you know when you go to one of those buffets and you just keep on putting stuff on and you said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have some chips. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'll have some chocolate and um, some, oh yeah, and I'll have a bit of trout and maybe I'll have some, chocolate sauce it was a little bit like that for me to be honest what can i say sorry about that it, i mean look, you know it look, look, you could take any one of those ideas out and build a new track from it and it would work great um okay uh bob e thomas what is bobby e. thomas gonna oh okay high noon with guy mitchell moore So tapping into a slightly Ennio type, Ennio Morricone reinvented type thing going on. Okay. Mm, not wild about those chords at the moment. sure I'm seeing much of a shape to this track at the moment it's you can almost see oh no and as I said there's a little drop yes Paul you have caught a live with Guy Think, okay. I think I I'm I suspect that you possibly use the uh, the kind of beat as a bit of a crutch so to speak to sort of build your tracks around and I can understand I used to do it I when I first started very 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 long time ago I honestly couldn't write anything without having my drum machine on and it took me ages before I went and uh, pushed it to one side and tried to write something without and uh that was a bit of a sort of breakthrough moment but it it's really easy to get stuck uh, with that kind of oh i can't write anything until i've got this type thing going on so i you know i may be this may not be your case but if it is try turning it off and see what happens you know you know, then you have to, the, the nice thing, when you strip stuff away, and, and you know, it's what we do with the master students quite a lot, is, you know, get things right down to their bare essentials and then really work out, you know, what your idea is, what your, you know, harmonic, you know, how the harmony is working with the melodic, in, you know, interest and how the rhythm, all the stuff which we do in how to write music, uh, the, the little short course, um, is really, you know, 
it's the foundation of everything. And you, you know, it's not just what b beginners do in the first kind of you know six months of writing music. It's what Beethoven did right up to the end of his life. You know, th looking at those foundational little bricks, bricks, and how they all go together, is Larry the pheasant's back. Can you hear him? Yeah, him. That one. Long time no see, Larry. <laughs> I should have had a camera set up in the garden, shouldn't I? Never mind. Okay, right. Let's... Um, I say it's Larry. I have a feeling somebody might have eaten Larry. Never mind. Shouldn't say that. Okay, here's my track. It became quite an interesting one, says Pytox. Okay, Pytox. Let's see how it's doing. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we now have a Larry cam. He's just disappeared as well. I tell you what, <laughs> I like the orange chair. They're all, all my chairs are falling to bits, I tell you. Um, I like this track. I think it needs everything pulling back a bit and uh, it needs uh, a little bit more kind of it it feels like the sound of the individual sounds work really well it just needs to be welded together a bit better and that probably means rolling the top off some of them and compressing things a bit and you know uh oh he's there larry is there but um he's <laughs> pheasant cap can you see him oh yeah there you is there you go there's larry uh, <laughs> so he's hanging out he, maybe he's here because he likes the music you know he hears across the fields the sound of your music and he thinks oh, do you know what ah of course now my picture in picture is going to be of larry the pheasant <laughs> i didn't think that through right come on you've come here not to look at <sighs> right okay let's go back and find um, okay, let me find, uh, what am I going to find? Um, ba -bum. I'm trying to find some more stuff. Okay, I'm just going back in time a little bit. So I'm trying to hop around so I'm not, uh, you know, just sort of focusing on one little bit of, because, you know, there's, okay, hello. Guitar Zero Art. I think you were in the house, weren't you? Guitar Zero Art. Um, right. Oh, no, we've had this one. We listened to Catching Fire. So Guitar Zero Art has had his feedback. At, uh, let's uh, see what else we can find. Uh, right. Uh, Silver Lady Productions. Okay. I'll click on you. Huh, okay.
a video production. Huh. Gotta love that shallow depth of field. Huh. Oh, somebody can actually play. Oh. This is lovely. I like this. Wow. I love the way when, when, he, when he drops in my original piece, my original flute, you can hear how out of tune it is compared to his or her. It could be her, of course, I don't know. That's really, really good, I know. Uh, and uh, it's, yeah, and to make a movie of it. Writing's is, not that easy. Oh, That's st- Grammarly can help. Grammarly, please go away. Please, I don't want Grammarly. Do you want Grammarly? Oh, no, we're a pheasant list now, bad luck. Look, I really like that. Uh, um, you know, I know. And so there was a, a choice of um, Chinese flutes uh, or uh, going on there. Um, I think it was the second one, the high one, a pipper. Is that what they're called? Um, no, really, really lovely. Well done. So uh, that's that. Oh, no, I'm really, really taken aback by that. OK. OK. The stranger says his his and he's not very proud of it. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's be supportive in this little community. Well, it's another one which Okay, it's sort of changed direction quite a lot now. Okay, look, this is a, this is a, it's a bit of a kitchen sink one. There's quite a lot being chucked in here because it started in a very different place to where it ended up, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it does need sort of to connect. And I slightly, it slightly felt to me a little bit like you were going with the idea and then reverted to what you feel most comfortable with for the second half. That's not the first time we've had the second half of one of these, which has gone for a full on uh, guitar rock hero experience. <sighs> Is Michael Bow still in the house? <laughs> Talking of full on guitar hero rock experiences. But anyway, um, oh, we're going to be generous about all this. Look here, let's. Uh, Let's see what else I've got going on in here. Um, what else is in? Uh, Gabby D. Um, okay. Gabby D. Let's go with Gabby D's take on this. Here we go.
What do I think of this? It is a bit quiet, yeah, I know. It's you, Gabby D. Okay. <laughs> Look, that is a, a very interesting take on all this. And uh, there's a lot of really good ideas in there. Um, I think the whole thing sounds a little bit um, could could do with a bit of sorting, but but look, it, it's <laughs> uh, there's what I'm hearing coming loud and clear out of that is a spark of originality, you know, and you can. It was certainly different. I suck at songwriting, and I uh, and I'm really and I really like different, and uh, so that is very promising because then you can take that. And all the bits which need sorting, hello Richard. Um, um, you can sort. I mean, you you know, you can you can make it a little bit more coherent. You can produce it slightly better. Some of the stuff you can pull out. But basically, what you can't, what's hardest to do is to inject originality where it isn't originally. So um, therefore, I think it's a really you know, uh, I, I think that's a that's an encouraging track. I like that. I think that's good. Um, okay, let's uh, whiz down. Let's go to another part of the timeline. Uh, there's an awful lot of you done some work, and I'm really sorry if I'm not going to get around to hearing your particular track. Um, you know, because I know you put lots of effort in, and I'm. You know, uh, but there is unfortunately no way we can listen to them all. But nonetheless, oh, there are also some of them coming out significantly <laughs> louder. Wind chimes. Okay. I like that. Second time through, adds this sort of static chord pad thing going on. Oh. Whoever said you can't go wrong with congas? You can. It's another one which has turned a corner and gone in a different direction. I'm not so sure about this bit. That tune needs a bit of work. Sure where it's going to go if it lasted any longer. I think it could do with a more <coughs> okay. Look, this is a perfectly nice piece of music, um, and um, it's it's the kind of thing which um, you can to make it into a bigger and more interesting piece of music. Um, I think you probably need to work on the chord progression a bit because it's just two chords and I think some more interesting chords might help you know extend your thing um, uh, and give you something more to build on um, the little congery percussion -y thing I, I can go with that I mean look it's a perfectly nice start it's a nice start to turn it into a longer more substantial piece you're going to need more ideas I think but uh, um, let's see how we're doing now. Where are we going next? But, uh, well, okay. Um, bum, bum. What am I looking for? Uh, I think I was looking for... 
I did hear a really, really good piece earlier, and I can't, I can't really find it, which is <laughs> embarrassing. And imp- I should have. Yeah. Well, it's you know, it's a very laid back and a very kind of uh, relaxed sort of way of doing this. Um, so I suppose it's not okay. Right here we go. Stop faffing about, guy. Uh, Yana Zenko. Uh, here we go. Did I play that? Goodness. Okay. Just over a hundred, Evans. Okay, I'm warming to this. Now I need a new chord. No, over 100, about a hundred and something sent it in. Okay, Roman, look, I like this. I mean, there's lots you can do to make it better. Um, that pad is, for me is a little, the droney thing's a little bit too loud. I would have waited a bit before I introduced that. Kalimba. That's nice though. I I like that transition. That works well. I think it needs more. It needs something else. It's just kind of. <laughs> okay. Look, it's it's a nice it's a nice piece. It is it. What am I looking for in that? I'm um, look. It was a, it was well done. It was well produced. Um, you the chord progression came through. Uh, you know and answered the um, my needs just when I asked for it. Is it going to light my fire? And is it does it need something else? Does it need some kind of extra to make it happen? Yes, it does. It does. I'm afraid. I think that's what it does. Right. Um, hang on. Let's find another one. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read out that one. <laughs> um, right, let me find some more. But, uh, right, what have I got going on here? Okay, here is, I know we've had that one. But, so we are making some progress here, slowly but surely. Um, Come on, guys! Don't faff. Get on with it. Uh, we have B. Have we heard this one? Okay. No, I don't think we have. Ah, oh, this may be the one I was looking for. Actually, look. Have a listen to this. See what you think of this.
It is Mandalorian reference, isn't it? <laughs> I really like this. I think it's... There's some really nice production touches in here. I think this is very nice. That's really, really good. This was one I I heard earlier, and uh, I thought, yeah, that's really that's really quite cool, isn't it? I mean, because you listen to the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> don't lean on your keyboard, guy. Classic mistake. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, it's really original, and you know, by itself, it's sort of two minutes eleven seconds of creative frustration says B.E. Lewis but actually what you've got going there is lots of really interesting stuff and you could pull loads of bits of that out and you know rethink it and rebuild it because when you just sort of mess about and in some respects that's the value of a of a challenge like this is that in response to my original uh, little you know flute and um, kalimba things you come up with an idea which is all yours and you really like and then you go oh that's good and then you can chuck away my stuff and you've got a good idea of your own that's not bad um what did synth city say I, I, tom says something all oh, good point or oh, good question but then i can't see where he's what he said what was his question um Okay, Sin City, re restate your question and I'll try and answer it. But uh, anyway, okay. Meanwhile, back with, back to the program. Uh, okay, and uh, what have we got going on here? Uh, is that the beginning? I don't think that is the beginning. Go on, you can go down some more than that. Okay, maybe not. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, we've had that one. Um, I'm just choosing another one. Lots of good stuff. Okay, hang on. Was there a question coming in here? Um, Sin City. Okay. Ah, uh, just wondering, will every submission be considered for for the prize or just the uh, the one selected? No, we. I mean, as I said, this is a very you know informal kind of quasi little competition. It's not really a competition. It's just a bit of fun, and. Um, uh, we have people have been through quite a lot of the stuff on here i can't promise you that every single one has been it's not you know it's not the nobel prize for music it's a, a, a bit of a laugh and so we will definitely um uh, do our level best and then pick a worthy winner for it's you know a short course so it's, you know that, that's what we're doing um and if people enjoy these challenges yes absolutely why wouldn't why wouldn't we not do more of them might be quite you know we can do different ones uh right um let's see okay have we had ed princes yet is ed out oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay he's definitely in the house let's see assyrian kings this is called Oh.
this is this is really good there's a big production going on here harmonically something's not is a bit off but Look, that was really that's a yeah, that's an epic piece of production uh it's really good and um where's that coming from oh it's starting there and it's a really good uh example of how to build a piece um so that it's you know it has somewhere to go because you never interesting you never really sort of noticed as it ramped up it just ramped up um i thought it's a bit strange just to drop the voice in and then it sort of didn't kind of become part of the track my only concern with that track was um harmonically there were one or two things which were slightly rubbing against each other and it's really easy for that to happen uh, particularly with big epic uh, orchestration because it all sounds still big and epic or maybe just my ears are off maybe i'm just not thinking adventurously enough and i should really don't lean on the keyboard it's my keyboard i'll lean on it if i want to um yeah i mean there's a fine line between um doing stuff which is <laughs> a syrian harmony is not off okay look i i i am firmly put in my place and uh, uh well ind indeed chunky pixel i mean is intentional um or not uh only it's it's in you know the, the the sort of use of dissonance in something like this is quite interesting as to because it's all down to what we expect and how it see if that's what was intended um then I, and it, I'm, I'm I'm in two minds, as you can tell. Look, this one and this one, and I'm not sure which of them to make up, as my mum would have said. Anyway, look, it but it's a it's a really good, um, uh, really good piece of uh, production. Really, really good. Um, Writing's not. Oh, actually, stop! It's it's not again. Every time I use a do a YouTube one, it resets my YouTube page, and then I go back to then, and I get another blast of Grammarly, and I get. <laughs> We all wake up having night Grammarly nightmares, don't we? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, uh, what time is it? Ooh, time's moving on. We've been at this an hour already. Okay, right. I'm gonna pick a few more, um, and then I need to move on. Uh, uh, let's try. Uh, let's find. I'm so. Okay, Glenn Diamond. Have we had heard from Glenn Diamond yet? We're about to find out. Mm. I like this. There's an interesting vibe going on here, which I like. Um, some of it sounds a bit random. Um, the, I don't think, okay, I'll tell you what, if, if I was gonna work with this track, I really like that, I, that works well. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. It is strange. That little plucky 
and that one. I don't think you need to put additional layers of melody in there. I think you need to work out there needs to be something else happening. There, you're right. Your instinct is, I need to put something else in. But that felt wrong. Not wrong. There's no such thing as right or wrong. There's what you want it to be or what you don't want it to be. Um, and if you're happy with what you've done, I know. Who am I to tell you anything? Just, you know, I like. Yeah, I think Chris is, Chris is coming. It, I, I like the beginning, um, but then there were elements, and I like the strangeness of it, and I think it just sort of slightly wandered off into its own little, I don't know. Anyway, look, um, it was a, you know, it's a, yet another one which made you go, oh, that's interesting, um, a bit different. How could I possibly resist anybody who submits something called Pig in, who goes by the name of Pig in Twilight? Somebody who has one subscriber. Let's have a listen. Or not. Ooh, ah. was going all right um, um i really like the uh wacky sound designy ideas at the start and for me it lost it a bit when it started to become more tonal because it all started to turn into a bit of a blancmange mixed with a steak and kidney pudding mixed with uh, a mini and um it's but there's, you know, Rose Wishes Thorn. Uh, you've got some good ideas. It does sound, I mean, couple, you know, it did sound a bit chaotic. And uh, it's that, it's finding that balance between originality and chaos. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the piano was, I thought the piano was wrong too. Um, but look, that, you know, yet another interesting submission. Um, and there's ideas in there. You see, if you can, if you can work out which bits of it are really good and which bits of it are a bit mm, not so really good, then that's the secret. I mean, not entirely the secret because it's really important to sort of, but it is important to try and keep pushing the envelope and trying to do something different and not just to write lift music all day long. And, um, you know, it's, um, and we've heard, I'm really encouraged by the fact how many people have really gone for it and tried to do something different because to be honest, um, as I said before earlier in this afternoon, it's one thing to, you can learn to control this and learn to organize it, but it's harder to learn to be original. Uh, you can, you can, you need somebody like me kicking up the backside and telling you, no, do it differently, uh, etc. Right. Okay. Look, um, who is Verta Audio and are they in the house? Are you here, Verta? Let's see what Verta Audio's piece is like. Here we go.
The Mysterious Guy Limber, this is called. It's nicely produced. It's moving around. It's, it's, it is slightly aimless, but... job Verta. Um, I think it was there's some lots of nice ideas in there nice bits of production it's well pulled together interesting chord changes slightly aimless it's like it's like you jumped in the car and you had gone for a drive about without actually going anywhere in particular and um, but you know it's two minutes and two seconds of interesting stuff and you know, they, I'd certainly take some of those ideas and kind of, I don't know, re you know, reposition and try and give it a little bit more of a structure. And so, you, but, it, you know, again, it was another one which grew perfectly nicely and you it got bigger and bigger and uh, without us actually noticing anything. Oh, he's just brought in the drums type thing. You know, it's quite nice when you, you notice you don't notice how things are growing, they just grow. And that's that's quite clever. That's rather good. Well done. Good stuff. Right. Moving back. Writing's not that Every time I go to a YouTube channel, it does that. You know that by now. And now it's got to load the whole page all over again. All 698 comments. How many are there on this, actually? Lots and lots. Oh! I only said 698. It's 646. Oh, my God. It's quite a lot, really, isn't it? Okay. Um, right. Let's see. Okay. Ian Norman, have we heard your piece yet? Um, I'm not sure how to describe this, he says. Moments of peace interjected with moments of frantic madness. How's 2020? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's called Lock Doom. <laughs> Gone all synth wave. Didn't see that coming. He who describes himself as techno hippie. I've taken samples from NASA of radio signals from Jupiter and seismic recordings of Mars, quakes, and mixed those into the background. Oh, that'll be one of those Mars quakes then. That was indeed unexpected. Oh. He must have played that in, because I didn't play that, did I? Oh. Sorry, I'm just just checking the Larry cam because I've definitely heard pheasant activity out there. No, no, can't sit. Oh. What's going on? Oh, it must have gone to another track. Stop, stop, stop. Go away. Oh, that was touch and go. Right, we've got 15 minutes left. Um, but then I've got lots more meetings to go to and stuff like that. Um, okay. Uh, let's see who we can find. 
Um, there's a lot here. So it's very, very, those of you saying, please play me, please play me, please play me. Um, it's very hard because there's 600 and something um, and, it, you know, I'm playing them pretty much at random as they come up. So, um, um, but interesting, some of the same ones come across up before. Uh, okay, Paul Woodridge. Are you with us, Paul? Here we go. Cool. Not sure about the chord progression under this. tonight Jason Carter you're right a bit look um, the number of people say oh, it's a little bit off there's something off in here I think it's it's another one where there's something about the common okay it started out uh it started out well okay so we started out with a pad then in came the flute and then this kind of process beat thing happened in the background and all that was working i think it started to go slightly awry when the chord progression started and the chord progression didn't <laughs> sack the flute player yeah get rid of him who does he think he is um so yeah um so it's what we take away from this is you have to listen to the little voice in the back of your head. I mean, okay, there's a there's a balance to be struck between listening to the voice in the back of your head, which is saying eh, something off here. It's not quite right, and um, the uh, uh, imposter syndrome thing, which people were talking about in the chat earlier, and you need to strike you've got to have the confidence to do your thing and just go for it. But equally, you need to sit there and know if something's not working for you. You know, because although you can look at a score or look at a keyboard or look at a guitar and, and sort of know in theory what's, what should work and what shouldn't, you have to have that little, um, you know, um, detector in your brain which tells you, mm, not your best idea. Or... There is just something which doesn't quite work because it's a lot of it is entirely it is personal taste. You know, it is personal taste. And when I say, oh, harmonically, I'm not sure it's working. That's because it is not working for me. And now if you're working in um, the media or you're trying to achieve some commercial aim, um, not working means not working for your client or for your market and if they don't like it they're going to buy it and so mm, okay uh therefore you know have to rewind have another think if you're just doing it as a piece of art and doing it for yourself great you know yes tom congratulations to everyone even those who weren't featured i'd go along with that completely uh, because you know um this whole thing was a bit of you know a bit of fun and um, given that lots of people have got not time on their hands, everybody's super busy, but 
it's just harder to find things you know to uh, entertain yourself or it's harder to find downtime when you can't go out and all that kind of stuff so it is good and being able to kick off a little you know fun thing like this um and uh you know hopefully that helps pass the time and yeah we will do definitely do another one at some point uh, to, we're, we're all super duper extra busy this week because we've got um induction for our new uh, our new postgrads who start uh, a week uh, next monday so thursday friday saturday is three days of full-on um uh, live webinars um we got some really cool stuff really cool stuff anyway so all that's uh um for our um postgrads and then they start their course on monday uh, joining those like michael who's with us this afternoon or was um who's been around uh for six months and he started last september doing great anyway look what am i just rabbiting on come on i need to find have a go at finding a couple of other people's work and uh, okay can't find right let's have a listen to i've had that one had that one uh, is have we had evans the bard i think we have okay let's have a little look um there's an awful lot of comments here that's all sorry um okay okay so this is nicholas uh demetris um it's he says i made the choice to incorporate all the samples from the whistle raw recordings to compose uh, to compose the theme good let's have a little look That was really nice i really like that and that's okay that was a very interesting approach um because it took all the raw recordings rather than the phrases which i used and built a different tune out of it and it worked it worked really well it really really well uh i thought i thought that was great you know super duper um um no no i really grammarly does more <laughs> than catch a i'm sorry Oh no, oh no, Grammarly, please go away. Oh, how much money must Grammarly spend? I mean, honestly, I know, I suppose they must be getting their money back. But they go in waves, don't they? It's like Masterclass. You get these for, for a while. All, every time I turned on my you know, YouTube, I was getting Masterclass coming up. Well, good luck to them. At, um, right, okay. I'm, I'm now waiting for my page to refresh so I can see all your submissions again. And oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, um, come on. Um, guy breaks the internet. Okay. Yeah. To, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's a few. Okay, starting to come up. 
Okay, let's find one. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, no, there's too many here to search the trouble is, so it kind of doesn't like it. So right, let's um, hang on. Let's see what's coming up. I will pick one in a moment. Uh, 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 sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. We well, you are cl quite clearly you are talking amongst yourselves, which is a good thing. But, uh, okay. Um, sorry, I, w I did see one I wanted to play just now, and uh, and uh, yet again, it's it's like watching a rolling river of music. You know, it's just washed away underneath the, uh, you know, in the stream. Okay, let's, I'm not, okay, I'm just going to jump in because this is not going to work otherwise. Right, um, I know we've had that. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, do this flute tune though, how am I going to get the flute tune out of my head? Because it's now going to be there, you know, it's like a tattoo, this flute tune. Um, dear, oh dear. I was tr trying to go back to one I saw all earlier and, oh no, hang on, I'm maybe in the right part of the world here. I'm sorry, I'm just standing, you know, you're, just, you're watching me scrolling through a screen you can't see, which is really dull. I know. Anyway, look. Um, we can... Uh, no, I can't see it. Look, okay. Oh, there it is. Here you go. Because I made this classic error of mentioning Evans the Bar without actually playing his piece. That wasn't clever. Now I'm going to. Here we go. You're up, Evans. Oops. Seems to be coming really slowly now. <laughs> it's actually just scrolling and scrolling. Hang on. Reload. Oh, here we go. Hang on, I'm going to start you again. I'm going to start you again. Okay, I did it. You want to see? Yeah, yeah, I want to see. <sighs> yeah, I'm a crazy person. I know, I know, I'm a crazy person. This is what my wife has to deal with every day. <laughs> you only have to deal with it if you choose to watch it. Am I recording? Was I recording this whole thing? to play by the way this took me longer than i wanted <laughs> well i don't know what that let's just say more than four hours maybe closer to eight yeah well no uh, I, you gotta listen to that with some real volume where's my volume <laughs> was that loud enough i'm trying to get comfortable with this whole talking to my yeah phone yeah this time for real okay, okay yeah let's do it ma'am here we go Where did that come from? Okay. Yeah, what door is that?
Oh my lord. Crikey. <laughs> you are as bonkers as a box of frogs. Look, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in there. And a little bit of self-editing probably, you know, wouldn't <laughs> be a bad thing. But there's some nice ideas in there. And, you know, some work, some don't. I, I, when the faster bit, uh, slightly glassy sound came in, I wasn't quite so convinced. And, um, you know, uh, but look, it's, it's completely bonkers. And it clearly, uh, you know, bounced out of my little idea to start with so that's really the whole point of what we've been up to isn't it you know just trying to give you a start of a turn because sometimes it's much easier to um to get going when you you've given something to sort of rub against rather than just s sitting and looking at a completely blank piece of paper etc so look i'm going to wind this up now because um i need to go and have meetings and boring things like that um but i hope this uh, has been fun. Um, we will have a listen to as many of the entries as we possibly can, and um, you know, and we'll try and respond. But but bear in mind, this is a very casual, laid back little more of an experience than a competition. So don't don't stress about any of this. And you've clearly enjoyed this. So yes, definitely we'll have a go. Um, uh, we'll do this uh, again sometime. And you know, you know. What a laugh, eh? Right. Um, I will now conclude this little thing. Thanks very much indeed for your company this afternoon. Um, and um, if you're new to the channel, uh, you can subscribe if you so choose. It's a free country, thankfully. And don't go there, guy. Don't go there. Right. Okay. Thanks very much indeed, everybody. Uh, I'm going to call it an afternoon and uh, see you again very soon. Cheerio.